what is up RC enthusiasts? I just want to show you guys this real quick. This thing right here is what's been keeping me busy, so blame this thing for me not putting out a lot of content. But anyway, I'm here to review something else from another website that has recently contacted me and has asked me if I wanted to review items for them. So let's check it out. So I have this box right here, and in this box is the WL Toys 124019. And this is out here today because I'm going to show you the comparison to this one right here. Now this guy right here was sent to me by RemoToys.com. I'm not sure if that's how you say it. Maybe it's RemoToys.com, but it sounds like RemoToys.com sounds about right to me. So yeah, this was sent to me by them. Thank you, fellas, at RemoToys.com. They asked me if I was willing to do some reviews for them. So I said, sure, go ahead and send something over and I'll give you guys a review. So here's what they sent over and it got here really quick, actually. And if you could tell by the box, there is no damage on this box whatsoever. Now you guys have to take that with a grain of salt. Obviously this is a review unit, but yeah, so anyway, let's go ahead, let's unbox this sucker right here. All right, so let's get this guy out of his box right here. Now if you guys wanna see any info on the box, nothing in the bottom, just right there. The two models they have right there. Some instructions and stuff back here. And that one just says, Explorer, off-road, racing, conquer the world, or conquer the world. Let's open this bad boy up. Full disclosure, I already opened this just to take the battery out and charge it, but I did not pull this RC car out of here yet. So it's gonna come with your instruction manual right here, your USB charger, and a wheel hex wrench. The truck is beautifully packed in here, look at that pull this guy out this is typical of WL toys packing it like this a lot of my WL toys came in packaged like this pretty good and protected all right let's zoom into the car here as you can tell it's a very nice looking body they have the rear shocks attached to this top roll cage bar system they have up here now so that's different from the 14401 and also the other version of this one the 18 I believe it is Looks nice, really nice looking rig. Wheels and tires still the same. You get a functional spare in the back right there. You get your helmeted drivers and passenger navigator in there. And some accessories in the back, fire extinguishers and stuff. But yeah, the reason I decided to bring the 14401 out is because I just wanted to show you guys that it is just a longer version of that. And there you go, rear wheel to rear wheel lined up. Let me get a better shot for you guys. So I'm gonna line up the rear wheels right now. So the rear wheels are lined up right there. And that's how much more you have up front for this one. So it is longer, the chassis underneath. Still the same looking chassis, still the same color. It's just extended. So if you look right there, extended chassis. So yeah, the other reason I brought this out here is because if you guys want to know what's inside that rig and you guys haven't seen one of these ones yet, it looks pretty similar to this. Same size motor, same differential, same everything almost. The one big thing that I did notice that's different though is these shocks look the same, but they actually aren't. The shock body itself is an actual different shock body but it looks very similar. So it's most people think it is the same, but it is different. And the rear one is a longer shock. And you can tell by how long this non-threaded portion of the shock is compared to the front one. And you can compare that to the 14001, which are more identical to the fronts of that one. But anyway, that's what this rig is. The updated version, two body pins, right here and you can flip the lid up and you'd also do have functional lights up here by the way those are led functional lights up there and they are working they are installed and in here they claim that battery to be a 2200 milliamp hour battery but i say it's more closer to 2000 because my 2200s are bigger than this unless this is just a small c rating one but we'll see there's your updated esc receiver combo now a lot of people say that don't even attempt the 3s with this one right here because it does not handle it like the old style esc did with this one i have done 3s with this and 
this truck still did not like it. So I'm with those guys that don't recommend 3S because these things are plenty fun on 2S already. But all right, guys, since you've seen all that set up, everything's pretty similar. The one thing that I noticed is the shocks are hard on this one. They just overfilled it. That's all they did right there. You can unscrew it from the bottom here or the top and just squeeze down on the suspension all the way and screw it back in place as you're squeezing down. That should let all the excess oil drip out of the shock while you're tightening everything up and you should have a free shock. But I'm gonna run it this way just so you guys can see what you get. And I'll probably make another video with it all tuned and you can see how it runs in that video. So you'll know that there is a difference when you do tune these things correctly. Oh yeah, I almost forgot guys. Transmitter in the box as well, inside this box. Same transmitter. Then you need Four double A's. The transmitter does have a throttle dual rate right here, so you can slower the speed down for your kitties if you want them to play with your toys. Still handles pretty well even with the stiff shocks but you can definitely tell it can be loosened up a little bit more help the trucks track a little straighter Not a rock racer. It goes pretty far, it's all the way across from me. Whoa! In between my legs! Pretty decent guys, the speed's pretty nice. Pretty similar to the 14400.
All right, guys, that truck is awesome fun, man. That longer wheelbase makes it a lot more stable and makes it a lot more fun to definitely drive off-road. So it could handle off-road a lot better, but those shocks need some oil reduction in them. So I need to get some oil out of there so it can get nice and plush in there because it does bounce around a lot like that. But yeah, other than that, great runner, guys. I enjoyed this thing a lot. Nice little LED headlights up there. This thing was fun. Nothing broke on this run, but I'm going to do another run with those shocks properly working so you can see how capable and how proper this thing should run because I feel like this thing will run really nicely once these things are all working correctly. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching as always. This one's going to have another run for sure. For now, go ahead and check that description box below on the website this is from. So that's remotoys.com. Go check them out. They are a legit website, and I got this from them. So there you go, guys. Take it easy. Have a great day. Be safe out there. And as always, go run that RC.